Okay, welcome to this video on describing motion using graphs and importantly the information you can take from motion graphs. There are two types of motion graphs and I think you should be really careful uh, that you know which uh, type of motion graph the question is asking you about. So look carefully on the y-axis. This is a distance time graph. Okay, and the other type of graph is a velocity time graph. So what do the various sections of a distance time graph represent then? Well this first section, the upward sloping part, is a constant velocity. So during that period of time this object is, is uh, increasing in distance at a constant rate, it's a constant velocity. The flat section at the top, that object is stationary. Its distance hasn't changed as time has gone on, therefore it's not moving, it's got no speed. And then the downward sloping part, the uh, straight line downwards, is a constant but negative velocity. So it's, uh, it's going backwards, it's going back from where it came. But you can also get more information from that. You can actually use this graph to calculate the speed during this constant velocity section. So let's do that. So remember my previous video, that uh, that speed is distance divided by time. Okay, well, in this first section, the distance travelled is 30 metres. The time that travelling took is 20 seconds. So, 30 divided by 20 is 1.5. 5 meters per second. Okay, very simple. Now the second section, you may be asked just to read off what is the distance, how far away is it from its start point, well that's 30 meters. You may also be asked to work out the velocity here. Okay, this time let's use our other equation for the same thing, velocity equals displacement divided by time, because we'll see that it started at 30 meters away and ended up zero meters away. So displacement is minus 30. And the time that took is 30 seconds. So his velocity there, minus one meter per second. Okay, so pretty simple stuff. The other type of graph is a velocity time graph. Now it looks very similar, doesn't it? But it means very different things. So make sure that you know what type of graph you are talking about, what type of graph it is given to you in the question. Now you can get some information from it straight away. You know that a straight line upwards is an acceleration. So that object is accelerating. Look, it started at zero meters per second and it accelerated to 35 meters per second, so it changed its speed. The flat part is not stationary now, it's a constant velocity. During that period of time, it stayed at 35 meters per second. The last section of the graph downwards, it's a change in speed, but it's getting less, so it's a negative acceleration, it's a deceleration. Okay, now once again, you can get more information than that. You can actually calculate these two accelerations. So you may remember the equation for acceleration is V minus U over T. Acceleration is the final velocity, take away the initial velocity, divided by time. So let's have a go with that. The final velocity is 35. The initial velocity was zero. The time all that took is 70 seconds. So 35 take away zero is 35. 35 divided by 70 is 0 0.5. And the equation, sorry, the unit for acceleration is meters per second squared. Okay, pretty simple. Now this is why that equation is a pretty useful uh, 
one to, to use. So we've done this first part. The second section, this section here, okay, our initial velocity is to 35 and our final is zero. So I put the numbers in where the uh, algebra indicates. Zero, take away 35, divided by, how long did that take? Only 20 seconds this time. Uh, let's use a calculator. Minus 35, divided by 20, equals minus 1.75 five meters per second squared okay you may also have been asked what is the maximum speed it reached or maximum velocity and you can read that off the graph there as well and now there's some other information that we can get from a velocity time graph which is we can work out the distance and this is a little bit trickier but actually it's well within your ability so the distance is represented by the area underneath this graph and we know that because if we did velocity times time we'd have the area of the graph and velocity times time is distance so the easiest way to think about this is to split the graph up into various shapes so there's my first shape a triangle second shape is a rectangle and the last shape is another triangle so there we are first shape second shape third. so all we have to do now is work out the areas that are represented by them this area is 35 times 70 divided by 2 because it is a triangle again don't make your life any harder than it has to be use the calculator 35 times 70 <coughs> divided by 2 it's 1225 so between 0 seconds and 70 seconds th this object's gone 1225 meters but we want to know its total distance travel so let's add on the rectangle in the center that's 35 times 70 to 140 so that's 35 times 70 again. Remind myself 2450. So that second section has gone 2450 meters. And then the last section. Um, 35 times 20 divided by 2 because it's a triangle 35 times 20 divided by 2 equals 350 meters the total distance traveled then is first distance plus this plus this One, two, two, five, plus two, four, five, zero, plus three, five, zero. The total distance travelled is four thousand and twenty-five meters. Okay, so that's pretty simple actually, isn't it? So this last uh, slide, just a little aid memoir for you to. Uh, remember what you can find out from the two types of graphs from the distance time graph the gradient represents the velocity so you can work out the velocity I'll just put in brackets or the speed uh, the velocity time graph the gradient represents the acceleration okay distance time graph you could work out the area, but you shouldn't because it doesn't actually mean anything at this point. 
uh, the velocity time graph you can work out an area and that represents the distance the object has traveled and then lastly what does a flat section represent a distance time graph it represents that the object is moving it's stationary and what does a flat section represent on a velocity time graph that represents a constant velocity. Cheers then.